visit arcademodup.com. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the differences between a vertical screen and a horizontal screen across the arcade one-up cabinets, as well as how to take our two-player image that we currently have and convert it over so instead of just working for the horizontal, it can also work with the vertical cabinets too. Okay, so I first want to start uh, talking about the different arcade one-up cabinets. So you can see in this diagram here, it kind of lays it out. On the left is all of the current uh, one-up cabinets that are available. So out of those, they're all horizontal except for the ones with the square or with the rectangles around them. So Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Galaga, and Centipede. So if you have one of those cabinets, the uh, monitor was made for what you can see here, like Miss Pac-Man on a vertical game. It was made to be taller than it is wide. To where on all the other cabinets you can see on the far right, like Street Fighter, it's made to be wider than it is tall. So that's the difference between a vertical cabinet, which again is those four Pac-Man, Galaga, Space Invaders, and Centipede, versus all the others, which are horizontal. So both will work with our two-player image, and I'm going to show you in this video how to convert if you have a vertical cabinet over so it'll work with that. So just real quick, again, I'm going to show what this looks like uh, when you first boot it up if it's a horizontal image for Raspberry Pi on a vertical screen. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just take the micro SD card out of your computer or out of the Raspberry Pi, uh, put it in the computer. They have little USB things on Amazon for like four or five, six bucks. Uh, they work really well for this kind of stuff, but plug it in. When you do it, it might ask you to format. Make sure and hit cancel or hit no. Do not format because if you do, you'll wipe everything out on the card. Uh, but once you get in, you'll see here that I have uh, my SD card here. There's a file called config.txt. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. I suggest you download Notepad++. Just Google it. Um, it's free to download. It just makes this kind of editing work just much, much easier. So um, I already have it open here. So just to show you. So it's going to open it up. If you're not you know, into code or any of that kind of stuff. None of that really matters. There's just one thing you have to do. And in the description, you can copy uh, this one little line of code here. I'm going to paste it in. Copy and paste it in. But essentially, it's display underscore rotate equals three with no spaces there. And what that's going to do is it's going to orientate. So instead of the, the side view that you're getting now, it's going to orientate it correctly um, on your monitor. So uh, for the way that, that Arcade One Up puts their monitors in, so this is what you need to do, display rotate equals three. I'm just gonna save that, close that. I will take this out of the, um, uh, of the computer here, put it back in the Pi and boot. Okay, so you can see it booted up and you have kind of this overlay action because this, uh, this theme wasn't really made for a vertical setup. So there's a couple things you can do. I'm gonna press uh, my player one start and again, don't worry about this uh, panel. This is something different I'm testing. So if you just have a normal one and two player, just press your one player start. Go into your UI settings. You'll use B and A to uh, navigate. So I'll push A to go forward. And then you can come down to theme set. And there's a few that are already on here. And this top one works really well. Um, so I'm gonna press A. And then as soon as I go down to hit back, I'll just press A again on back. It'll take it a second to load it. But once it does, you'll be able to see that it's a much uh, a much better image for this vertical layout here. So I did that, so I'm going to press B to go back. So you can see now, uh, you guys are getting a little bit of glare, but you can see it's a really good layout for, um, and again, just your B and A will navigate. So that's the... Um, that's the quick and easiest way to swap this is again, you'll just go in and change the uh, configuration and then you can come in and set it to this theme that's already loaded on our image. Um, I'm going to be working on a vertical image. I'm going to be working on a new vertical layout, as you can see, uh, but this will work with our two player layout. The one other thing I want to show you here is when you go into, um, when you go into a game, let me find like Nintendo classics or something. Hang on. So when you go into a game that's actually a vertical game, like Donkey Kong, like an old school game, you know, like Centipede or Pac-Man or Galaga, the games that you, um, <clears throat> the games that you expect to, to fill up the screen this way, because with your two player, your normal games that are horizontal, you'll have a black bar on the top and the bottom because of this vertical monitor. But on your vertical games, you can see that it looks great, but 
it has these built-in bezels because these bezels are going to work really well for the two-player uh, or, or for your standard horizontal layout. So real quick, I'll just show you. If you hold down uh, player one coin and press the X key, which would be the top middle key on our two-player setup. So coin and X, you'll go into RetroArch. I'm going to press B to go back. And then I'm going to go down to, go to settings. And then you'll go down to on-screen display. And press A. On screen overlay, press A. And then I'm going to just turn that off. And then I can just press B to go back. This is something you would only have to do one time. You could save it across the core for everything if you wanted to. Um, but you could just do it one time per game too. It'll save it for that. So when I hit resume here, you'll see that this game is now exactly as you would expect it to be. So it's really nice for old school games. These vertical monitors on these arcade one-ups are, are, are awesome. Um, I prefer the horizontal. If you're going to get a two-player unit and you want to mod it and do two-player, I suggest Asteroids is the cheapest one out there on, on Walmart. They're like 160 bucks or something, or Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, any of those. If you're getting like Centipede, Pac-Man, or Galaga, you'll get the vertical screen again. And um, these old school games look awesome because this is how they were designed to play and again i'm going to have an actual board that's made just for these types of games but if you want the two player and you bought it for the two player it's fine you can just change the um you can just do what's in the video here and get it to where it uh where it'll play nice on the on the theming and everything will look great uh so visit arcademodup.com and make sure and like the video